before you put something you on. You follow this Target story this week? Um, <laughs> I, 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 they put something out there. They're um, back to, I mean, they got that car in reverse in a big way. Uh, here's the CEO, guys. Call for number four, talking about diversity and being great for the brand. Let's start there. Here he is. I'm really proud of the work we've done in the DEI space. When you walk into a store and you feel at home and it represents the community, it makes a huge difference. I think those are just good business decisions and it's the right thing for society and it's the great thing for our brand. Welcome back. Today, we're discussing the Target boycott over allegations of satanic merchandise. Let's separate fact from fiction and explore the implications. Claims of Target selling satanic merchandise have gained momentum, leading to a growing boycott. However, many of these allegations are based on misunderstandings or misinterpretations. Some symbols or imagery associated with different cultures or religions have been mistakenly labeled as satanic. Target has taken action, initiating an investigation and vowing to remove any offensive merchandise. They are committed to addressing customer concerns and ensuring a positive shopping experience. It's important to approach situations like these with a critical mindset. Verify the facts before joining any boycott or spreading unsubstantiated claims. Stay informed, think critically, and engage in productive discussions. Like and subscribe for more thought-provoking content. Thank you for watching.